Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonsai Works. Today I thought I'd take you through a, a review or a view of all my maples in my garden from young to old to mature to young etc. And what I want to do is also review them and tell you what I'm planning to do, what's their strengths, weaknesses, what's good about them, what's not good about them etc. And what I'm doing it with them at this time of year in October in Melbourne which is middle of spring. Now this first Japanese maple is a beautiful Japanese maple featured on my channel many times. It's quite an old tree, very old uh, base and trunk. It's quite nice and white and, and, and actually quite nice and old. Um, some, of the, some of the things that are happening now is I'm getting a very long elongation. So I'm going to I'm start actually cut back. Um, sometimes I might have missed pinching it and it's starting to get a bit too long out of shape. Um, so start to cut back now a little bit. The leaves are a little a little big too um, this time of year, so I do like to come try and cut back and hopefully let it to uh, back bud and let um, buds further back come through. Now, some of the issues, I guess, I love I love the style of this tree. It's a very nice. I imagine this on a on a river bank on the side with this low branch hanging over the over the over a lake or a river and, and surrounding you know people above underneath it, so on and so forth. That's how I envision this tree. Um, Love the cascade, the semi cascade branch. I think you can more call it. Love the 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 main tree. It's not too big, not not throwing it out of proportion. This is more the feature with this side branch. Looks quite interesting, different, something unique, and really captures my imagination. Um, that's what I kind of like about. It. I really do like it. It's probably getting a little strong and heavy in the back area here. You can see it's a bit out of bit of out of whack, so I'm going to have to control it. That's simply because I'm probably not rotating the tree enough. Um, in the garden i need to be rotating it a bit more often so that um so that just not this side gets the sun all of them get the sun at the same point i don't think that side has been getting as much sun so it's trying to lift forward so it's trying to come up up this way and kind of ruining the shape so that's what that's what's wrong about it at the moment unfortunately i've also got this branch in here which i will zoom in on um now it's just got all these beautiful buds um, you can see all nice buds everywhere, just hasn't actually popped, which is unusual. Um, I'm not 100% sure why it's done that. It kind of does it if you even did it last year. So unless it's a weak branch, I'm not 100% sure why it's doing that. It'd be good to know why. But I'm just going to keep trying to now prune back. And I'm hoping with by pruning back, it pushes the energy back into there to try and get some sort of those buds to open. But a lovely tree all up. Probably not the best having this root right in your eye a little bit. It looks a bit in your eye. Um, it's got a really nice base in around here. So the beauty of having it in a round pot is you can slightly adjust it anytime you want to give you a better set. Now the base looks a lot bigger. This is a little bit forward, but that's okay. But you can see a nice big base across it here. A bit of a wound here in your eye, um, in your eye as well. Not the best. But, you know, overall, beautiful looking tree just needs a bit more time. <laughs> uh, time, 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 and my time to actually keep trimming it, keep pruning it back. Um, I hardly, hardly, I don't think I've got even one piece of wire on this tree. It's purely now just clip and grow uh, pretty much all the time now. So that's where this one's at. All right, if you followed my um, videos over the winter, you would have noticed this tree. It was repotted into this beautiful Japanese Yamafusa pot. Um, now it's sprung back really well. It's really full and quite dense at the moment in terms of growth. I am trying to get a couple of these branches to grow and make a new branch area in here. Um, it's actually looking really nice. Make sure I get the front for you perfectly. It's got a nice full canopy the way maple should be. Um, it's got a nice, nice um, area here that's developing quite well. Uh, probably I've been pinching and pinching and pinching this tree all the time it's growing crazy um which is, happens this time of year but pretty much what's happening is it's i got if i don't pinch it for a day or two it just explodes like i've got so many so many long um so, so many areas with long internodes really long internet so this time of year now what i'm trying to i try and do if i haven't pinched it early enough i just go in and start to try and clean clean back um trim back trying to get back budding happening but I now do it with the scissors rather than trying to pinch because some of these branches are too long. So I go through the tree and actually try and 
cut out all the branches, the long internodes. So I'll just go through that and do that at this time of year. Um, it's flushed out, it's, it's a really original growth. So you just gotta go through the whole tree and find the long ones and get rid of them. See, some go straight up and you gotta get rid of them. So that's how I go through this tree and remove all the long internodes. And they're usually on the outside, usually on the periphery, on the outside. Usually the inner ones aren't as big, um, so it gives you a good idea where to start. But again, this uh, apart from these three few branches on this side, which I'm trying to establish new branching, the rest of the tree is wire free. Uh, it is just clip and grow at the moment. So there's lots of areas that I have to, because it's just the internodes have got away from me. And all it does is take one or two days. We had, a, we had quite a bit of rain here in Melbourne and it just exploded. So pretty much this tree, my, my issue is just needs a bit more time to develop this side of the tree um, and get the canopy really, really dense. Uh, lots of small can get the get the leaves really really small and that just needs lots of ramification so you've got to continually be pinching trimming all the time um getting it looking good nabari is amazing pot to tree is perfect uh in my opinion um i'll do a spin around you see how dense it's quite awesome all the way around it's such a big tree too it's a decent sized tree so even the back's good in terms of foliage Everything's looking really good. It's just very hard to spin it around. So all I'm going to do is keep trimming this, this guy up, um, especially in the apex area, and keep it under control. This is a very similar trident to the one just before. Um, it's actually coming along really well. But probably the best thing on this tree is the Nabari. It's pretty amazing. Got a very good root spread. The canopy is starting to form more of a fuller canopy in a deciduous tree. I am lacking a little bit of little bit of foliage in here. I want to make this a bit bigger in this area. Um, I still want to try and keep it clean line. Some, so again, the same problem. They're getting long internodes. So I come in and try and trim those away. I might actually even have to wire a couple of these branches because they're starting to come into my face a bit too much. Otherwise, I need to shorten them. So for example, if you look side on, probably see how they're coming really forward now, a bit too forward. I'm going to go back a little bit with these branches, so I'll have to a bit more of a prune on these on these branches, just cut them back a bit more um, and open up the tree. So just a little bit like that, a little bit of trimming. As I said, I want to fill in this area, probably its weakness. It would be nice to have a little bit of branching over here, but I really don't want to wire them down, otherwise it gets too triangular. But I might have to consider just... just Maneuvering those down a little bit just to keep it a full canopy. So once I get a bit more in here, I'm a bit more rounded um, rather than triangular, which is what I'm trying to avoid. The problem with this is the back's a little bit sparse. Again, probably haven't turned the tree enough. So I've got to remind myself to turn the tree more often, get the sun in on here so we can actually get some more foliage and the, and the pads and the leaves don't go upwards. See how they're kind of pushing upwards, you can see underneath? It's because they're going towards the light, which is more to the front. And obviously I've got a big wound in the back here, which is healed really well. Um, that's a good thing. And um, pretty much this tree is doing well. Um, yeah, just a couple of little issues that I'm trying to deal with, but that's it. Here I have another one of my beautiful display trees. Uh, this used to be a long tool custom one a while ago, and I've had it for a little bit now. And changed the pot to a beautiful Japanese Yamafusa pot. Um, it was on display in the exhibition in the club's exhibition last year, did really well. It was just it's coming along really good again today. A lot of pinching happened earlier on in spring, so it's got a very nice, dense, dense um, canopy already. Um, but if you do see anything that starts to get out of whack, which I'll show you, some of some of the buds are starting to get again, so you might, might start to pinch those out. Any, any existing ones, a few there starting to happen, but sometimes you might miss some. So it gets a long internode. So I'm going to start using scissors to cut those back. And I did notice on this side, they're quite extensive. So I'm going to have to cut back a little bit um, to some smaller nodes back along. So it could have been I just missed those um, in the tree. Then they're sometimes they're hidden in, and they're going upwards inside. So you've got to really look out for, for anything unusual. So you can see obviously this one here. Let's cut back to a nice branch. There's two of them in there. One over there, just to show you the, how to get the, the shape back into, into order. It's pretty much pruning, it's pretty easy. Um, some some gone really way out of whack, so bring that around. Now, well, I did have one issue, which is really annoying. 
you can't probably tell because the canopy is so dense is there is a branch in here that seems to have died off or is dying in the process of dying off it has all buds on it but it's drying up quite considerably so i have no idea why it's done that sometimes maples do that um unfortunately not much you can do but i've got lots of branching i won't even notice it's gone um, a lot of branching in here that will hide that so that was the main issue sometimes if there's little stubs from when you've uh, pruned before we just cut them off other than that this is just a beautiful tree in spring hopefully um comes up good again for another show in in may when well, we usually have our show april may in 2024 so it should be good but again just prune off anything that's really long back to back to a nice node back to where there's two smaller leaves and should be okay sometimes you can't help branches die off don't there's no explanation sometimes um it is what it is so just keep on eye on it but the pinching that i did earlier in the year in the spring has helped to condense this so much foliage right now so and the leaves are quite reasonably small too which is good so that's the another maple all right so if you've been following my channel for a while now you know that i repotted this huge stump of a trident maple and i've rewired the whole tree um and this is what it looks like now in spring looks quite good you've fallen someone but if i have been pinching and pruning this tree continuously it is growing just absolutely wild um and good reason why because it's so 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 full of um energy after i've cut it back so hard so cutting it back so hard has pushed so much energy out i'm feeding the tree really well and just pushing so much foliage okay so let me give you an idea this is the front of the tree um i'll just show you what's happening to a lot of it now Look how much growth see how long those are so again long internodes i've got to come back cut 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 so much long growth so anything growing down i don't like so i just grew to really so much long internodes but once you clear them up you can see starting to develop some sort of um, padding i guess without being too much padding again here look at this so this time of year is great lots of lots of growth but you got to be on it now i like to be even harder i mean more quicker on this but i'd say it only takes a day or two if you haven't pruned it's just exploded out everywhere okay so this tree i think it just needs time to really start to fill up and become really big strong canopy um, i want more branching of course um, and, and a fuller tree but that would just take time i don't want long internet so i'm going to build the tree slowly you can't just let it run off and try and build a huge huge branch and, and new and new foliage I want to try and slowly grow a lot of this so if I had the tree and it's really important not to let the wire cut in so you got to keep looking keep observing keep making sure it's not cutting in um, and if you're pruning you're not letting that long growth thicken up that branch too quick which is really important well it helps you not having to remove the wire so early <clears throat> so let's have a little spin around this branch kind of drips so I'm going to put it back in its place so even the back needs lots of trimming I have been turning this tree so you can see there's probably a little bit better result in terms of when, when you're turning a tree more often it actually gets a lot more proper 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 branching happening um at this stage i'm really just pruning i'm not, I'm not even looking at trying to wire things i'm just pruning 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 hope, hoping that the wire doesn't cut in too quickly um the negatives of this tree oh probably the nabari is very rough like it's a very big Navarro, like it's big and fat. I want some of that, would love some of that nice smaller roots around here to make it really look like it's grabbing. It looks too stumpy at the moment. Um, so just, that's really it, that's really all it is. And just needs time to fill out this tree. Uh, lots more lots more growth, I keep an eye on the wire, keep an eye on the growth. I'll just try and raise the camera so you can get a bit of better view, just the sun's coming up now. The sun's gonna be in the, in the way a little bit. But really nice tree. I'll give it a little spin so you can see what it looks like. Nope, sorry, another one. So there it is. Another beautiful maple. All right, so here's one of my favorite trees in my collection this old trident maple, River Rock. Um, I'm trying to block the sun a bit so it doesn't ruin the image. It gets a bit white But um, if 
decent sized tree. You know, if I stand next to it, you can see how big this is. Definitely would have seen this before in my collection. Um, my main issue with this tree is um, it actually had dieback in, in here. Um, it's nicely rolling over, but this area here was starting to rot and I had to, and some borers started to, to attack it. So I've actually cleaned it out quite a bit this year. I just cleaned out the dead bits. I'm going to put some nice um, carving and de um, deadwood features in this area because it looks now like it's nicely dried off um, and I might make it a feature rather than waiting for this to roll over which will take forever if, if at all. So I might make this a nice deadwood feature in here, um, carve it out, make it nice and interesting, put some nice um, you know, nice work and nice lines, etc. It makes it look like a natural hollow that's happened over time. So I've carved it down and down further into here a little bit, so the water runs off. It won't won't actually um, um, accumulate it at one point, so it won't rot the trunk anymore. It feels really hard to me, which is good. Before it was actually quite soft, so that's my only real issue. The tree's old, so it's actually not growing like it's a young young. The um, tree, it's growing quite slow. It's very, very nice to, to work on. You don't have to do too much to it. It just slowly grows, grows and grows. So again, might just need a bit of turning here and there to get some of the back area nice, nice and healthy. I had some die back here and there every year, like it does back in certain areas. But this year has been pretty good. Didn't really die back too much, which is good. I did, didn't have anything, I think, pretty much die this year on this. So that was good. That's a good start, anyway. But another beautiful trident maple, uh, Red Over Rock. It's very famous. It's actually in one of the books, Australian books, here. Uh, Jennifer Wilkinson's book. Um, it's quite young. Uh, it was more a little triangular tree. Now I'm trying to go the big, full canopy maple kind of look, rather than a triangular tree. Now I wouldn't be able to get away with not showing this tree. I think Brian, who's one of my followers. Would have really got upset if I didn't show how this humongous trident maple is going. It's actually looking really good this year. I'm really happy with it. Um, I have found with this tree, if I the, the year I repot it, it always struggles. But the second year, it actually just goes crazy. So I'm probably going to repot this a little bit less from now on. Um, maybe it's just to do with the age of the tree. It's a huge, oh, it's big nabari. Probably two to my hand width almost. Oh, that's huge. Um, beautiful Japanese Yamafusa pot. Of course, you would have seen all my display trees in Japanese pots only, pretty much. Uh, especially my maples. My maples always get a Japanese pot. Most of my most likely it's Yamafusa or a very well known Japanese uh, potter. This tree's huge. Um, it's starting to take the shape of a maple, if you know what I mean. It's losing its triangular form a little bit. The real train it's starting to get more fuller it still has its definition of pads but the pads are a bit more random i'm hoping it's starting to look a bit more but more interesting um so a bit more wild which is what i like i don't like it so formal the only thing that happened this year is this area up here got eaten somehow i'm not sure what happened i couldn't see any caterpillars etc on it but it's all coming back now but this whole area had all its leaves taken off now i really can't see anything on here that no caterpillars. I really inspected the tree really fully. Couldn't see anything. Um, I have a feeling it happened to it last year, and I caught some birds actually picking the leaves off. So I don't know if they did it this year and I didn't catch them. I caught them last year doing it, so it might be the explanation why. So they'll just for some reason this is more towards the fence side, and a lot of it was being picked off. Um, so it's kind of starting to come back now, which is good. Um, but I really didn't like that happening. So it's really impacted this side of the tree. But that's really all it is. I want to get a bit more foliage in here. So some branches are growing up in this area. So that's good. Otherwise, it's a big, very big tree. Um, don't really move it too often because it's quite large. I'll give it a nice spin for you. There you go. So another beautiful maple. I just want to finish off on this big guy. Now, I have done a video on this big tree, big one that I've rewired. Um, it's got a monster base, huge. Um, and it's in this magnificent Japanese old vintage pot. It's a monster tree. You can tell by the fence behind it. 
I've wired it up so I'm trying to get it very natural looking a uh, very natural looking trident not not triangular it's more full so you can see some of these branches have they been wired upwards and out upwards and out so I'm still continually pinching this tree and um, continually pruning it trying to get it to bud back and really fill out it's coming along really well in just one season so still early in the season but I still got more pinching to do you can see some some of these branches going a bit crazy so usually I just come back and trim them back just to get a bit more so I usually take the top off at least I'll leave a little boost up that's fine and um, hopefully get some branching happening in there again same here this one's gone a bit too crazy so I've been continually going working on it trying to get it trying to get it you know reduced keep it under control that's the shape I kind of want um, nice and big full and heavy um, but more rounded so trying to get the crown more rounded get some areas um, filled in and getting it looking good so that's my last trident on that's that's a more of a display tree I guess almost a display tree of my bigger trees um, so I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the garden and my more mature maples thanks for watching and I'll see you soon